that thing breaks, <laughs> they will be sent to your mother. And the strength of the DMs is going to start with. Oh, yeah, that's the person that loves to put that purpose. You will come and do it. You will come and do it. Don't entertain with anything in the classroom. You just come, sit on the bench, do your work, and go home. Straight. Foolish fool. Okay, now this time. Now here. Shaira. Okay, now I talk about Porsche. Why this bond is forfeit? And lawfully, by this, the Jew may claim. Why, why this bond is forfeit? Means this bond has to be forfeited, meaning has to be lived up to the letter because the Antonio is at fault. Okay? And lawfully, by this, the Jew can claim a pound of flesh to be cut up near the merchant's heart. Correct? Thank you so much. Yeah. Be merciful. Take price and money, bid me tear the bond. So be merciful. You ask for the bond, you are perfectly correct. And Antonio is in the wrong. But be merciful, okay? And we will tear the bond. Shalab says, when it is paid according to the tenure, uh, you will tear the bond after the bond has been paid according to the tenure. Then you according to the terms of the Okay? <coughs> it does appear you are a worthy judge. It appears that you are the respectable person of the law. Okay, you know the law, your exposition, you know the understanding of the law, you know the law very well. Had been most some, I charge you by, and you know that the law and my, and my, uh, uh, the bond is absolutely as for the law. Okay, so I charge you to obey the law. Okay, don't please with me, don't ask me to change it. You will follow the law. Therefore, you are a well deserving pillar and you are a strong pillar of the law. Okay, you're one of the strong supporters of the law. Proceed to judgment. By my soul, I swear, there is no power in the tongue of man to alter me. I stay here on my bond. So that means you proceed to the judgment, okay? And I can swear on my soul, no human tongue can make me change the conditions of this law. I want my bond. Antonio, most heartily, I do receive the court to give the judgment. Okay, fine. I ask the court to give the judgment. Portia, why then? Thus it is. You must propose him for his life. Shaila, oh noble judge, oh excellent young man. So he's praising Portia. Praising Portia because now Portia is going to give him his <coughs> justice. Portia, for the intent and purpose of the law had full relation to the penalty which here appeared to you upon the bond. Meaning, for the intent and purpose of the law, meaning and the scope of the law, it applies fully to the penalty, okay? Fully applied to the penalty is uh, it is as per the agreement of the law that you have to take out that pound of flesh. This means it means here that means the hat full relation to the penalty means it fully applies to the penalty. Here with the parent apparent view bond the view upon the bond means it applies to the penalty incurred on this agreement. Whatever is the agreement agreed on this paper has to be followed to the letter, to the letter. Shaila, very true. Oh, wise and upright judge. How much more elder art thou than you look? Oh, very wise judge. You know, you are more mature in your mind. You're more intelligent in your mind than your looks, okay? You are, you look young, but your mind is that of a very mature and uh, sensible, knowledgeable person. For oh, sure. Therefore, lay bare your bosom, okay? This is telling Antonio, lay bare your bosom because we have to fill, fill the conditions of the bond. Shiloh, ah, his breast, so say the bond. Do it not. Noble judge, doesn't it say, what chest? Go oh, closer to the breast. Breast means closer to the heart. Okay, closer to the heart. Now, nearest is heart. Those are the very words. Which part of the breast? The heart. Portia, is it so? Are they balanced here to weigh the flesh? Shiloh, I have them ready. So why you understood now? Is there any balance to weigh the flesh? For sure. Had by Sam surgeon, Shiloh on your charge to stop his wounds lest he do bleed to death. Had by me, have you kept a surgeon close by? Have you kept it frozen in your by your response in your charge me? You have to pay for that surgeon. Have you uh, engaged the services of a surgeon to stand close by? To stop his wounds, lest he bleeds to death. Shallow. Is it so nominated in the bond? Is it there mentioned in the bond that I have to keep a surgeon? Who cares if they live to death? I mean, you are supposed to take only one pound of flesh. 
Nowhere is it said that if he dies, also chalega. Only one pound of flesh. So if you keep a solution, the precise flows by the supplement bank portion. It is not so expressed. But what of that? For good, you do so much for direct for charity. It's not mentioned in the bond that you have to keep researching to prevent him from dying. But what is there for you to do a little bit of charity? Isn't it going to do good for you to do a little bit of charity? Keep a surgeon close by. Shiloh, I cannot find it, it's not in the bond. I cannot find any statement in the in the bond says that I've got to keep a survey a surgeon to save him from dying. Antonio, but I am armed and well prepared. Don't worry, not to worry. I am spiritually equipped with strength. I've got spiritual strength with me. I am but little, meaning, okay, no problem, don't worry. I am spiritually armed and I'm well prepared. Give me your hand, Bassanio, and fare you well. Grieve not that I have fallen into this for you. Means don't feel sorry that this has come upon me because of you. You have not been able to spend the money, you borrow the money, and you're not able to return it. Please don't feel sorry that it is because of you I'm suffering this. Okay, for here in fortune shows herself more kind than is her custom, it is still her use. Now, what is he talking about? Lady Fortune, if you know about her, is a lady who's got a blindfold on her face. That's a Greek goddess. Now, she's a very peculiar woman. She will bestow opposite characters or characteristics on people. Now, if she makes you a very beautiful woman, She'll give you a horrible character, make you a loose woman, a woman having no morals, having no respectability, a trashy woman, but she'll make you very beautiful. And if she makes you an ugly looking person, she'll give you all the good qualities of morality, of discipline, of honesty, of faithfulness, all the good <coughs> opposite. Now, if she gives you lots and lots and lots of money, she will give you old age. So that you don't enjoy that money. And if she makes you very, very poor, she'll give you a long life. Now, who wants to live a long life in poverty? She bestows the opposite gifts on the opposite character. That is how she irritates people. So that's what he says here. In this case, Lady Fortune is very, very honest with me. Why? Because for the first time, she's giving me characteristics and blessings pertaining to my situation. I have lost all my money. I am very, very poor. And now Shalak is taking my life. That means I am facing death and no problem. I've got no money and I've got no death. Fine. But if I have no money and she gives me long life, then that is punishment for me. So for the first time, Lady Fortune shows herself more kind than is her customs. For the first time, she's giving me correct gifts according to my situation, for the first time. According, un unlikely, this is opposite to her characteristics, to her custom. It is still her use to let the wretched man outlive his wear, meaning she has allowed, it is still her use to let the wretched man outlive his wealth, meaning what? He is to see, to see a man live, okay? Seeing all his ruin. See, she is so kind, she is giving me death. If she was unkind, she would allow me to outlive all my wealth, meaning I will have to live and see all my wealth in ruin, which she's sparing me from that. She's killing me and I don't mind. I don't have to bother about my money. Okay, that's what she said. To outlive his wealth, to view with hollow eye and wrinkled bow, brow at the age of poverty from which is lingering peace. Okay? So thank God she's taking me away and not letting me live to be an old man, to be having hollowed eyes, to be having hollowed skin and wrinkled skin and to sit and watch all my ruin. That means to live in poverty. Thank God she's taking me away when I'm young and I have got no money. That is the first time she's giving me correct gifts. Okay? And they, of such misery, but she cut me off. She's cutting me off from all this misery. Okay? Commend me to your honorable wife, meaning remind me or talk to me and discuss to your honorable wife. Means when you go back to Belmont, talk about me to your beautiful wife. Talk about me to your Portia. To tell her the process, process of Antonio's death. Tell her how Antonio met his death. 
Say how I love you. Speak me fair in that. Tell her how much I love you and how I was prepared to give my life for you. And then the tale is told, bid her be judged. Whether Vasanyo had not once her love. And after you have told her the entire story of my life and my love for you, let her be the judge. Let her be the judge, okay? And let her know that you, Vasanyo, had once upon a love who will love you very, very much. Yes. So here he, she means lady or fortune, right? Very yeah. good paragraph. Yeah. Portia. This is Portia. Okay. Commend me to your wife, Prince. Commend me to uh, Portia. Is oh. Lady Fortune his wife? Ah? Yeah. Huh? Okay. Commend me there. Okay. Whether Basanya had not once allowed, repent not you had that you shall lose your friend. Don't feel sorry that you're losing me, your friend. That he repents not that he pays your debt. And he repents not that he pays that. Don't feel sorry that you're losing your friend. I don't repent that I'm giving up my life to pay your debt. I don't repent that he repays your debt. Means that I am repaying your debt. But if the Jew do cut but deep enough, I'll pay it instantly with all my heart. But I only want, but only feel sorry that if the Jew cuts a little deeper than what is expected. I will have to repay the debt with all my life, not with a pound of flesh, but with all my life. He wants only a pound of flesh, but if he cuts it to deeper, I will have to give. That is the only thing where you have to repent. That he will be taking away my life. He will be cutting it a little deeper than that one pound of flesh. Basanyo. Antonio, I am married to a wife which is as dear to me as life itself. And she's very, very dear to me, as dear than my life itself. But life itself, my wife and all the world are not with me as themed above my life. But my life, my wife and all the world is not more important than your, your life. life for me. I would lose all, sacrifice them all, here to this devil to deliver you. I'm prepared to lose my wife. I'm prepared to lose my life. I'm prepared to lose the world all for and for the devil, okay, but to save and to save your life, to deliver you from the hands of this devil. Now, Portia is there. He doesn't know that Portia is there and he's talking about giving her life for the sake of his friend. So, Portia says, your wife will give you little thanks for that. If your wife was standing here and she heard you say this, that you're prepared to give her life for the sake of saving your wife, she will not spare you. Okay, thank God she's not there. If she were by to hear you make this effort, if she was here, to see, to hear you make this offer. Now, Krashyana has to open his mouth to one who has one little, not even a smallest grain of sense in what he talks. Okay, I have a wife whom I protest I love. I have a wife and I swear that I love her, but I hope she was in heaven. In other words, I hope she's there and that she could entreat some power to change this courage too. And I hope she's there and she's gone to heaven and she prays to God that he, that God, Cures this Juna. This is idiot. Hoping his wife will go to heaven. I can't go to heaven alive. She has to die. So in other words, he says, I hope my wife is dead and she goes to heaven and she prays there to God as if she can't pray for him on this earth. She has to go to heaven and then pray to God and ask him to save your life from this dog mongrel Jew. Marissa. This is when you walk <coughs> behind. Thank God you're making this statement behind the back. Well, she's there behind her back. To wish would make Elsa and quite house because if you had to make this in her present, you would have gone home to a unquiet house, meaning a troubled house, which is quite under for you. And the piece of the house will be destroyed. Thank God you're making it in her absence. Shiloh, these be the Christian husband. I have a daughter. Would any of the stock of Barabbas have been her husband rather than a Christian? So he said, we try to tell at the first two sentences. So he said, these are the Christian's husband. <coughs> One Christian husband is saying he's prepared to sacrifice the, the, the life of his wife to save the Jew. The other one is hoping that his wife dies <laughs> to save the Jew. These are the Christian husband. And my wife and my daughter is married to such a Christian husband. I wish she had got married to the like of Barnabas. Oh, Barnabas. 
Who was Barabbas? Barbarians. Now, he was a criminal. He was a thief. Barabbas. Barabbas was a very notorious thief during the time of the crucifixion of Jesus. Now, he was dragged in front of Pontius Pilate, all right, along with Jesus Christ. And then on the day of the Sabbath, one prisoner had to be released, either Jesus or Barabbas. So he said the law. He, he asked the Israelites, this is an innocent man. I want to have nothing to do with the, and with the, the blood and of, of this innocent man, of Jesus Christ. And here is a notorious criminal. Whom should we release? Barabbas or Jesus Christ? Okay, they said, release Barabbas, crucify him. That was their choice. So he says, he said, I wish my daughter had got married to a likes of Barabbas rather than get married to a Christian husband who will sacrifice the was life Barabbas of Christ. a Jew? Huh? Was yeah. Barabbas a Jew? He was a Jew. He was a Jew. And, but he was a very notorious fellow. He was a notorious man, someone who was murdering, raping, he was an extortioner. He was the worst scum of society. That's why he became a prisoner. That's why he became a prisoner. Now, how are you comparing Barabbas with Jesus Christ? Oh, why Jesus Christ? <coughs> huh? Why Jesus Christ? He was scared. Why Jesus Christ? In prison. What? He was not in prison. He was tortured and dead because he was telling man that what he is doing is wrong. Now, if I keep on telling you, that you're doing the wrong thing. You're doing the wrong thing. Do it this way. You will like me or you hate me. You hate me. And you want to kill me. That's what they did to Jesus. And he was telling them, what you're doing is wrong. Love your neighbors. If he shows you one cheek and slap you on one cheek, show him the other cheek. If he has borrowed one shirt of yours, don't run after him and get that shirt back. Give him a second shirt to clothe him. That is the way Jesus was telling people to live their life and make this earth a paradise. But people didn't like it. People didn't like it. If you, someone keeps on telling you what you're doing is wrong, do this. They will kill her. Silence that voice once and for all. Because that voice is eating our conscience. When someone pricks your conscience, you don't like it. That was what Jesus was doing. Oh. And they didn't like it, so they killed him. Understood? Now, here, he said, I wish my daughter had got married to the devil, but I was rather than get married to those Christian husbands. Okay? We try for time. I pray the first few sentences. Oh, we are wasting time. Try for time. We are wasting time. I pray you let us continue with the sentence. Oh, sure. Now, a pound of that same merchant's flesh is there, is yours. One pound of that merchant's flesh is yours. The court awards it and the law will give it to you. Yes, the court has agreed and the law is prepared to give it to you. Shall a most rightful judge, he feels he's going to get his penalty now. Portia, and you must cut this flesh from off his breast. The law allows it and the court awards it. Shall a most learned judge, a sentence, come, prepare it. Portia, tarry a while, wait a while. There is something else. This bot thought give thee here no jot of blood. The word expresses expressly a pound of flesh. Take then that pound of flesh, thou thy pound of flesh. But in cutting it, if thou dost shed one drop of Christian blood, their lands and goods are by the law of Venice confiscated to undo the state of Venice. So he said, okay, take this pound of flesh. But nowhere in the bond have they said, you can shed one drop of blood. Now, if you do that, then all your property will be confiscated and it will become the property of the state. Gratian, oh upright judge, mark Jew, oh learned judge. Shall I, is that the law? Now he's asking you, Portia, thyself shall see the act. Look at the conditions marked on the bond. For as you urge this justice, be assured thou shalt have justice more than thou desire. So since you urge and urge and keep on demanding for justice, you will get justice and much more than what you want. Okay, you get much more than that. Rashan, oh learned judge, mark Jew, a learned judge. Remember, mark judge you. means remember, judge, listen, see, there is a learned judge over here. Okay, now Shylock, 
I take this offer then, pay the bond price and let the Christian go. Okay, he says, let the Christian go, let Antonio go. I will pay three times my bond. Okay, that means 90,000, I will pay. Here's the money. The Sanjay said, take here's the money. Kosha said, stop, wait. Kosha said, wait. The Jew shall have all justice. Wait, no haste. He shall have nothing but the penalty. Let the Jew have only penalty. Let him not have anything else, but only the penalty. O Jew, an upright judge, a learned judge, Porsche, therefore prepare thee to cut off the flesh. Shed thou no blood, nor cut thou less, nor more. Okay, be prepared. Sharpen your knife and be prepared to cut off the flesh. Do not shed any blood. Do not cut more than one pound. Do not cut less than one pound, but just a pound of flesh. If thou cut more or less than just a pound, be it but so much as makes a light or heavy in the substance or the diversion, division of the twentieth part of one poor scruple, nay, if the scale do turn, but in the estimation of a hair, thou dies and all thy goods are confiscated. So he says, if you cut more than one pound or even less than one pound, or even less than one pound, okay, all right, but if uh, there's a slight change, okay, even if it is one twentieth part, there's a difference in that one pound, one twentieth part, there's a difference of that one pound, a poor scruple means a very small weight, difference of one pound, okay, as much as a hair, and the scales are tilting, okay, to the side where you have taken more than one pound, you will die and all your goods will be confiscated. You will die. You will, thou diest, you will die and all your goods will be confiscated. Yes, he will be executed. He will, they will kill him. Oh. Now, Sasha, a second Daniel, a Daniel Jew, how now, in parallel, I have the on the head. A second Daniel, a Daniel Jew, meaning Daniel was a prophet loved by God, okay? And he was a very wise man, very wise man, all right? And he was the one, the one, Daniel was the boy who saved Susanna, the one who saved from, from, from the executioner. So this is, this is Daniel, you're a very intelligent person. The second Daniel, okay? In the form of Porsche. You are Daniel, a second Daniel. Now infidel means now Jew. Infidel means you are a you are a non-Christian unbeliever because he's a Jew. So he's an unbeliever. He becomes a pagan, he becomes infidel if he's not a Christian. Now infidel. I have thee on the hip. I have thee on the hip means I've caught you on the weakest part of your body. Now pay attention here. If you see the human body, the main upper portion of the body. And the lower portion of the body is supported by the hip. Yes. Okay, that is the the most important part which supports the the weight upper and the lower torso of the body. And if you hit it, the weakest part of the body as well. It's the most important. But if I want to destroy you, I won't. Either I will hit you on your head where it doesn't give messages to the rest of your body. It is totally brain dead. Or I will hit you if I still want you alive. Okay, but I want to damage you, I hit you on the hip. That's the weakest part of it. Once I hit you on the hip, you are paralyzed. Okay, so he says, I have got you on the hip. Means I've got you at the place where you are totally unprepared or not. You're immobilized. You're immobilized. I've got you on the hip. Means I have immobilized you. All right, yeah. Why doth the Jew pause? Take their forfeiture. So Porsche says, Why are you struck? Take your forfeiture. Go ahead and take the pound of flesh. Shalom. Give me my principal, let me go. At least give me my 3,000, let me go. Forget about the 9,000. Okay? Give me my principal and let me go. Principal. The principal amount of money. How much money he gave? 3,000. Original amount of money. That's the principal. Principal amount. Yeah. No interest, nothing. Just give me the principal. Okay. Understood? Yeah. Okay. Basanya, I have it ready for thee, here it is, take it, Porsche. He had refused it in the open court, he shall have merely justice and his bond. So Porsche said, in the open court, he refused to take the 3,000. Now, let him have only justice. In other words, Porsche is not going to be given anything, okay? 
Rashiano, a Daniel still I say a second Daniel. I thank the Jew for teaching me that word. Meaning, remember, Shalok is the man who said, oh Daniel, he said, now he taught Rashiano to say that word. I thank the Jew means, I thank the Shalok for teaching me that word Daniel. Now I know everything that Porsche does is actually the way Daniel would do it. And you have taught me and you have brought it to my notice about the intelligence of Daniel. Shall I? Shall I not have really my principle? Are you not going to give me my principle at least? Thou shall have nothing but the forfeiture. So, <coughs> to be so taken at thy peril, Jew. And you will have nothing else but your forfeiture. And you will take it at your risk. Risk means he will be shedding the blood. Risk means he can kill Shylock. He can kill Antonio. That's it. And if Antonio dies, he also will die. Because he went beyond the bond. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to take only a pound of flesh. Shylock. Why then the devil give him good of it? Meaning, let the devil take him away. I stay no longer questioning. I don't want to stand here and question anybody. I want to go away from here and let the devil take him away. Take Antonio away. For sure. Tarry Jew. Wait Jew. Tarry wait, wait Jew. The law had yet another hold on you. The law has got something against you. It is enacted in the laws of Venice. If it be proved against any alien that by direct or indirect attempts he seek the life of any citizen. It is enacted means it has been, if it is found out, if it is found out, if it is decreed that an alien, that means any person in, in Venice, Who's not from Venice? Who's not from Venice? Alien. No, no, alien is not another question. Because here the alien here is actually Shylock, correct? Yeah, he's not from Venice. What do you want to say? Alien is foreign. Yeah. And foreigner here is religion. Because Shylock is not a foreigner. Shylock is a person from Venice. He has done business in Venice along with Antonio. He's a foreigner because he's not Christian. He's a, and at that time, and even till today, all of Europe is purely Catholic. All of Europe is purely Catholic. Okay? That was the oldest religion and followed by the Jewish religion. So here, Shylock is considered to be a foreigner, an alien, only because, not that he's not a citizen, that he's a foreigner in Wales. He is not a Catholic. He's a Jew. All right? It is enacted in the law of Isn't Venice. This, uh, is huh? Isn't this uh, racial discrimination? It's not religious, religious discrimination. Yes, yes. Religious discrimination. yes there were oh, uh, early, there were, there were religious wars. Why are they having religious wars even now? What are the RSS doing in, in Manipal? Why, oh, Why did India and Pakistan break up? Why did Bharat break up into Pakistan and India? Why are we having these wars? Why are the churches being burned? Yeah, Why did that that that, that uh, Ram Bhumi take place in the temple of Ayodhya they were destroyed? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Muslims and Celts. That is the nation, that, that is the uh, religious wars, no? It's there till today. Oh. Okay? Now, if it is proved that you are a foreigner, that by direct or indirect means you wanted to kill the life of a citizen. Now, he, if they can prove that Shiloh wanted to kill Antonio. Antonio. Okay, the party against the which he doth contrive, meaning the party means the person against whom he plots. Contrive means the person against whom he plots. So seize one half of his goods and the other half comes to the privy coffer of the state. Meaning, if it is proved that you had the intention, you being an outsider, meaning religious outsider, wanting to kill the life of a citizen. Citizen means Antonio is a Catholic, Christian. Okay, then, then what will be happen? It will one part, then the party against whom you are plotting will take half of your property and the other half of the property will go to the state. Okay, here, come to the privilege, yeah. And the offender's life lies at the mercy of the duke only against all other voices. And the one who's offending, that is you, Shiloh, your life is in the hand of the duke. He will decide what to do. No voice can ever say anything against the decision of the Jew. No voice against it. In which predicament I say you stand. In that predicament, in that situation, you are standing. Antonio, where half of your money will go to, sorry, uh, you're Shiloh. The half of your money is going to Antonio. 
and the half will go to the state. All right, and nobody can go against the rulings of the Duke. What he will do with your life? With your life, your money is decided. So what about your life? The Duke has to decide. Okay. Da has correctly clear by manifest proceeding that indirectly and directly to Da has contrived against the very life of the defendant, and Da has incurred the danger formally by me rehearsed down therefore and beg mercy of the Duke. Because it has been found out directly and indirectly, you, are, you had contrived, meaning you had the intention of taking the life of Antonio, okay? And therefore, you are facing the same conditions which I spoke earlier. Half your money will go to Antonio, half will go to the state, and your life is in the hands of the Duke. So kneel down and beg mercy of the Duke. Rashana, beg that thou mayst have leave to hang themselves. Beg the Duke that he gives you, he spares your life so that you can go and hang yourself. You have no right to the state will not hang you, but you go be free to hang yourself. And yet thy well being forfeit to the state thou has not left the value of a coin. And because all your money has been given to the state, you have got no money left to buy a cord to buy which you can hang yourself. Therefore, they must be hanged at the state's charge. Therefore, the state will pay for one cord. The state will buy a cord and you can take that cord from the state and hang yourself. This is the stupidity and stupid nonsense that Krashiano talks, like Teeth Tankar. <laughs> Duke. Duke. That thou shalt see the difference of our spirit, I pardon thee thy life before you ask it. Now you can see the way and the spirit. You wanted to take his life, but our spirit, our way of handling is to forgive you. Okay, so we are forgive, forgiving you. I pardon you, your life, even before you ask for pardon, I'm pardoning you. Unlike your behavior, you wanted Antonio's death, I am pardoning you for it. For half thy wealth, it is Antonio's. The other half comes to the general state. Half your money, of course, you will pardon your life. Half your money goes to Antonio and half your money goes to the state, which humbleness may drive into effect. And if you're humble enough, the half that goes to the state will be fine. Will be a fine. Will be considered to be your fine. Otherwise, you have to pay a fine also. Okay, so if you are humble enough, you can request us to convert that into a fine. Of course, your eye for the state, not for Antonio. Okay, you can take the fine from that money that they're giving to the state. Don't take the, the fine from the money that is going to Antonio. Antonio's money is for him. You want to pay your fine, take it from the amount that is going to the state. Don't touch Antonio's half. Shiloh, nay, nay, take my life and all. Pardon not that. Meaning, you're taking all my money, you take my, my, my life, you take my life also. Don't pardon me. Don't pardon my life. You take my house when you do take the property. When you, when you have taken the pillars of this building, you've taken away the whole building because it crashes. You've taken away all my money. Automatically, you've taken away my house. So why am I going to live? With what am I going to live? You take away all my money, take away my life also. Because without my money, I can't live. What's the point of keeping me life when I have got no money? So when you take away, you take away the prop, you take away the pillar, you've taken away my house. That thou sustain my house, you take away my life. When you do take the means by way by So you have taken away my life and you've taken away my house. When you take away the means by the child, you take away all my money by the child. So once you've taken away my money, you've taken away everything from me. That you take please take away my life. I don't want to live. What mercy can you render him, Antonio? So what you say, come on now, Antonio. Tell us, how can you be merciful to this Shiloh who five minutes ago wanted to take your life? A halter graph is nothing else, for God's sake. Give him a halter. Give him her a bell. Free of charge. Graph is free of charge. Give it to him free of charge. Let him go and hang himself. Antonio, so please, my lord, the duke and all the court, to quit the fine for one half of his good. I ask and request the duke to for forfeit the fine. Half of the money goes to me, half of it goes to the state. Don't charge him any fine. 
I have content, so he will let me have. I'm very content that he will let me have. The other half can use to render it upon it. And let me allow to give the other half. Okay. I am content to quit the fine for one half of his goods. I am content, so he will let me have the other half in use to render it upon his debt unto the gentleman that lady stole his daughter. Meaning, the money that he's giving me, one half has gone to the state. state. And you please pardon that fine. But the other half that is coming to me, I want you to make him agree that it will be given after his death. To the gentleman who has married his daughter, to give it to Lorenzo and to Jessica. Two things, <coughs> solely to his daughter, two things provided more that for this favor he presently becomes a Christian, and the other that he do record a gift, the here and poor of all he dies, possessed unto his son Lorenzo and his daughter. So, another thing is, another two conditions. First of all, pay attention. The half that he gives to the court. Pardon him for the fine. The half that comes to me, that he has to give to his daughter and the man who married his daughter. Thirdly, he has to become a Christian. And fourthly, he has to write that whatever money he possesses until his death, it goes to his daughter and the rent. Until his death. Until his death. Until his death. Meaning, he is set free now. He will still be making money now. All that money that he possesses from now onwards will go to his daughter and to his son-in-law. Because the money before has already gone to the state and has come to me, which I am going to give to his daughter. Which I am going to give to his daughter. So is he in law somehow? Who? Shylock. Shylock is, no, he is still enjoying his money. He's still, he's got his life, no? Yeah. And he's still going to make money, isn't it? Yeah. And upon his death, so whatever after has his life, before his death, his daughter. So how yeah. is that a loss? I mean, I'm on property, I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, that, see, whatever your parents possess, they will go to you. But right now, they're enjoying it, no? It will come to you after their death. Oh, so he's not in loss. No, at present he's not in loss. They're okay. kind to him. What they're trying to tell Shiloh that we are returning your cruelty with kindness. He wanted to kill Antonio. Antonio may be a poor man today, but he was a highly respected man in the eyes of the Duke. Why? Because he was a big businessman. Yeah. If he was a big businessman, he would have all rich people at his table. Yeah. Correct? So the Duke would be one of them. Thirdly, he was paying his taxes. So when you are paying your taxes, why will the Duke have anything against you? So Shylock wasn't paying taxes. Shylock was paying his taxes, but he was a Jew. This was a Christian. Between Jews and Christians, when both of them are running parallel to each other, who will have the top priority? The Christian, because Venice was a Christian state. Have you understood? Okay? Yeah. Now, Okay, Duke, he shall do this, or else I do return the pardon that I lay pronounced here. He said he has to agree to this. Otherwise, I will call back the pardon that I gave him just now. Five minutes ago, I pardoned him. If he doesn't agree to your conditions of becoming a Christian and giving all his money to his daughter, I will recall the pardon that I gave him. For sure. Are you contented, Jew? What do you say? Shall I am content? Clap, have, draw a deed of gift, meaning draw the gift deed. A gift deed. You have to make a statement. Get it written down and notarized. Shiloh, I pray you, give me leave to go from here. I am not well. Send the deed up to me and I will sign it. Duke, get thee gone, but do it. Go away from here, but get that paper, those papers signed after the deed is prepared. Graciano, in Christian, in Christianity, Shall thou have two godfathers? Had I been judged, thou shalt have had ten more to bring me to the gallows and not to the front. Now, how many of you have paid attention or have witnessed a Christian christening? Yes, you put your hand up. What is Christian? Yeah, what is Christian? Now, see, when a baby is born in a baptized, that is it. Okay, you're yeah. Okay, now see, yeah. So, when Mark Shack 
you idiot. From the bottom of hell, you will have risen up. When a Christian baby is born, after 40 days, the baby is taken to church to be baptized, to be given a name. And then the baby is baptized. There is a big, uh, you know, a bowl, a big bowl. It's called a font. It's got holy water. What is font? Font is a container. It's a container. If you go to church, you have these small little fonts. You put your and you cross. You put a hand in that small little one. That's the way we cross ourselves before we enter the church. We bless ourselves. So this is a font. It contains holy water. And then the baby is born it. The covering of the head is taken away. And water is poured on the head of the baby. And the original sin is washed away. What is original sin? Original sin is a sin that all of us have been born with because we are children from Adam and Eve. What was that sin? When Adam was created, okay, he was asleep. And Jesus, God said, he had given him this beautiful paradise to enjoy. Let him enjoy the fruit and the birds and the animals. Let him enjoy it. But then what happened is, but that man is all alone. He was given him a companion. So when he was fast asleep, God took a part of a rib. The rib, which is from that part of the body. And he took mud and he shaped it in the shape of a woman. And he kept that woman at the side of Adam. So when he got up, he found this woman there and said, this is your companion. And I have taken her from your rib. Woman, from man, not from the bone of your soul, so they can stand upon her and step upon her. Not from the bone of your head, so that she can sit upon you, but from the bone closest to your heart, where your hand can continuously protect her. You are supposed to protect her, okay? And live and enjoy yourself in this paradise. Increase and multiply. But do not eat the fruit of this particular tree, which is in the center of the garden. And the serpent, that was the evil tree, that was the sin, the tree of sin. The devil in the form of a serpent was on that tree. What was the sin? Devil in the form of a serpent. Serpent is a snake. And when God was, went away to heaven, the serpent called Eve. The women, serpent called Eve. Serpent called Eve. Serpent called Eve. Called upon Called upon Eve. And told her, told her, because women are usually the weaker person. You know, if you eat the fruit from this tree, you'll become like God. He doesn't want you to eat this because he's afraid you'll have his intelligence. So eat the fruit of this tree and you'll become like God. And he tempted Eve. Eve got tempted, she ate that apple and she gave it to her husband. And instantly they realized that they were naked. Otherwise they were naked and it made no difference to them. But suddenly now they realized the sin that came upon them and they covered themselves up and they hid behind the tree. And God came down and called for Adam and Eve. Where are you? Where are you? That we are here. Why are you hiding? Because they are naked. Who told you you are naked? He says, did you eat the fruit from that tree? He gave it to me. And I ate it. What did you do, Eve? The serpent tempted me and I ate it. And she called, curse the serpent. You will crawl forever on your belly. And man will always be out to kill you. You and your wife Get out of this paradise. You, man, by the sweat of your brow, you will earn your living. Nothing free. Go out and work in the fields and earn your living. And you, Eve, in pain, you shall bring forth your children. That's why the women suffer from labor pains. That was a curse from God. That time. Now what happens is, here, what do they have? So now we take these babies and we back we take and then 
That, so everybody was born with that. That was a sin. All of us are born with that sin. So now when we take the baby to that font and the priest pours water, the baby immediately gets up and cries. The sin, original sin is washed away. And the baby is covered up with white garments. That is purity. And the baby name is given. The priest will call out the baby's name, say John or Andrew or whatever, whatever. And then, and then he will say, you are now become the part of the mystical body of Christ. And the baby is shown that everybody will welcome that baby into the Catholic community. So he said, and then at that time, there are parents standing there and godparents. Godparents will be maybe the closest relatives of the mother and father. Now, what does the priest say? The, uh, no, now nobody old. Somebody young, because in case something happens to these parents, the godparents are supposed to look after that baby. So they say, you have to look after that baby. If you find that the baby is doing something wrong and the parents are not correcting the baby, you as a godmother have the right to correct that child, bring up that child, bring him or her up as your own child. Okay, so he says, at christening time, you have got two godparents. One mother, godmother, and godfather. You should have ten. He's telling Shiloh, you should have ten. And all ten of them should not bring you to that font, but they should take you to the gallows and hang you up. That is what he's telling him. To bring me to the gallows, not to the font. They should drag you, not one and two, but ten. He should drag you to the gallows and not to the font. Duke, sir, I entreat you, Home with me to dinner. The duke is saying, Sir, when he's talking to Portia, Sir, come. I welcome you to dinner. Come to my house for dinner. The case is over now. Portia, I humbly do desire your grace of pardon. I humbly request you to pardon me. Excuse me. I cannot come for to dinner. I must away this night towards, I have to go this night towards Padua. She didn't say, I'm going to Padua. I'm going towards Padua. And from there, she'll go to Belmont. She didn't say, I'm going to Padua, I'm going towards Padua, correct? And it is me, I present set forth, meaning, and I immediately, I'm immediately setting forth on that journey. One, two, now we will stop here, and we'll do this after, after one hour. <coughs> Please read till here. And Who is Magnificus? Who is Magnificus? Magnificus means great, magnificent, they're all important people. And because they are important people, magnificent people, important people. The jury. Oh, hey. Have you understood what I explained to you so far? Is it similar to the explanation which the teacher gave? What is it? Andrew? Similar means what? What is different? It should be equally similar. Equally similar. Equal and similarity is not the same in geometry. I know geometry, okay? Yes. Equal and, and similar is not the same in geometry. Equal, you put this way. Similar means that way, yeah. Read what I have taught you. Eh. <laughs> In chemistry, some people hundred percent to you, but hundred percent are you know. Ah, I didn't got 100%. He got 100%. 100 is more. In chemistry. Chemistry, chemistry. Analytical chemistry. 
I think, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I got 80. <laughs> Ritujya also got uh, 890%. Yeah. And then English also, you have got same. Well, English is my uh, am I the highest in English? In? English. No. So, somebody else is highest. And I think I'm the highest. You think nobody will. See the paper, see and then the, the, the test report has come, no? No. Uh, yeah. yeah. So much. Yeah. 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 And who has slapped me if I come back? Ma'am, is it above 30? Come here, give me my mobile, I will show you. Yeah. My bag is, man. My bag is. Mama, no, Mama, in this, uh, this was him. Pure from the whole uh, Sixty nine percent. I don't know. I don't know. I you are on the lower part of the ladder. Oh, I I'll come back. Yes, <laughs> 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 